So we're coming to the end of the uh, the Easter holidays. Many of you will already be back at work. And uh, you know, what did you do over Easter? Did you do what every other family did, which is go and see uh, Race to Witch Mountain, which of course is a remake of Escape from Witch Mountain. We've been talking on this site before about what are the ideal films to remake, and often the best ones to remake are films which weren't very good the first time round. That way, when you remake them, you can do something better. I actually quite like uh, Race to Witch Mountain. I mean, it's big and dumb and fun, and the kids enjoyed it. It's nothing to write home about, but it's, you know, it's a good movie that's at least as good as the original. Of course, the other big contender for your attention this Easter, although it would have been showing in far fewer cinemas, uh, is religious. You're a senator. It worries me that people are running my country who believe in a talking snake. You don't have to pass an IQ test to be in the Senate, though. <laughs> the documentary about the absurdity of religion by Bill Maher. Bill Maher? Bill Maher. You say tomatoes, I say tomatoes. Let's call the whole thing off. Let's call him Bill Maher for the purpose of this argument. And it's a provocative piece in which Bill Maher basically goes around interviewing a bunch of fairly easy targets. I'm the second coming of Christ. Yes. Not just because you have you share the name Jesus. No. You start disputing my God and, and you've got a problem. But his thesis is that religion has caused so much terrible things in the world. It's been used as a justification for war and abuse and, you know, incredible inconsistencies in wealth and poverty that actually being religious is fairly unforgivable. I mean, what he, he ends up saying is that being religious is kind of like being a mafia wife. You're kind of enabling all this stuff to happen even if you don't actively support it happening. And it's an interesting point and it's fairly well made, but I want to mention this very briefly because there's a very brief clip in Religious of Bill Maher in a film he made ages and ages ago, which I've referred to before, called In England, Piranha Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death and called in America Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death. The title was changed over here because the British Board of Film Classification didn't like the word cannibal because of cannibal holocaust and cannibal ferox and cannibal apocalypse. They just thought anything with the word cannibal in it was automatically disgusting. Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death. Look at them. They're beautiful. But Piranha Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death was the exception. Now, I know that Bill Maher now looks back on that with something akin to embarrassment. I've seen him speaking about it before, and he's kind of not very keen on the fact that he was in the film. But you know what? I still think it's the best thing he's done. It's a story of... Smart women, stupid, insensitive men. Of tender romance. Dr. Hunt and I are old friends, aren't we, Margot? Well... We were in love once. Desperately and passionately in love. It was a one-night stand. I was half drunk and left right after we had sex. It's a really smart, intelligent satire about two feminist tribes who have fallen out with each other over whether or not men should be eaten with guacamole dip or a salsa dip. It's about a philosophical split, and it's intelligently written, and it's very well played. It's clearly Shannon Tweed's greatest role. I am not a chick. I'm an ethno-historian with a doctorate in cultural anthropology. Got that? Yes, doctor. And if you can get Shannon Tweed to convince you as an ethno-historian, you're doing a good job. And it's directed by J.D. Athens, who later on wrote a script called 3000, which then was turned over the years into Pretty Woman. If you saw Religious, if you like Bill Maher, if you're a fan of Politically Incorrect, if you like Pretty Woman, and let's face it, Everyone sort of does, but they sort of don't want to. Track down Piranha Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death. And if you've seen it, post here and let me know. Because when I reviewed it in Time Out, back in the late 1980s, I remember very clearly being taken aside by somebody and saying, are you serious? Piranha Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death is a good film? What, in the ironic sense of good? No, it's a good film. See, if it's feminine and feminist. A really good film. Let me know what you think.